What's up, everybody? Bob Hollywood here with another episode of Bob's Holly World. Today I'm going to be doing the fifth episode of Civvy Soldiers, Spacemen, and Superheroes. I believe it's fifth. It could be number four, but I do believe it's number five. Um, as you see, there are 15 figures directly in front of you, and I have an additional two off screen, the, the two best of this haul or this presentation. And there's a good mix. Uh, there's a core figure in there. There's a Jack Sparrow. There's a Marvel figure. There's a Lionel. Most of them are Star Trek, excuse me, Star Wars figures from the various movies. Um, one not from a movie, but yeah, we're going to get into that. Uh, first off, we have my fourth Loki figure. This Loki is from, give me a second, I'm going to look at the year, from 2014. And it probably doesn't show up very well. Yeah, 2014, I bought this. I didn't necessarily like his likeness. Like, it really doesn't look like Tom Hiddleston. Um, but this came around, I don't know if it's supposed to look like Tom Hiddleston. It's, it's a weird mixture of the, the comics and Tom Hiddleston, if that makes sense. And, yeah, I bought him because he didn't have a helmet, mostly. I just wanted a Loki without a helmet. Number two is Princess Leia from, I think, Rebels, the Rebels cartoon. Um, the packaging just said Star Wars. She, you can clearly see that she's very animated, but meant to look like a younger Carrie Fisher. This figure is only ranked so lowly because she's so small. And the fact that she, I have trouble standing her up sometimes. Like right now, she doesn't want to stand. And um, she has peg holes like all the other Star Wars figures, but her holes are really small. So she's tight, and I couldn't get the base stands in there. So other than that, she's she's good, man. Like, the head comes off, but again, I haven't figured out what to do with her yet. She's just animated, and she doesn't really fit my timeline with my Star Wars characters right now. But other than that, she's cool. We're going to go to number three, Tasha Yar. This, this is the oldest figure I have. Um, and of all my three and three quarter figures in terms of when it was produced um, it doesn't really look like Denise Crosby if you ask me um, but again this figure is 31 years old in that in terms of that so they're they're what they were capable of doing wasn't as good as it is now um, like the Patrick Stewart figure looks like Patrick Stewart but that's a they didn't get this one on the hill but it's not a bad figure um, she's got decent articulation like that knee joint right there you don't get that in a lot of the the basic figures these days then we have Constable Zuvio. He is from Star Wars Episode 7. Uh, I think he's very briefly in the film, if at all. Um, and he's only ranked so low compared to the other five points of articulation figures because you just don't know much about him. Like, if you watch the movies, all the other characters are in the movies. So you get a chance to like them. And he's hiding behind a mask. You don't get to see his face. So that's it. That's the only reason why he's ranked so lowly. He's just as good as them. And then we have Chirrut Imwe, and he is, he is played by Donnie Yen. Um, he looks like the dude, he's, he doesn't look blind as a figure. I think the, the, um, actor in the films looks a little more blind, but this looks like him and I like him as I was saying his figure review, like he does look, he looks like he could be like a modern sensei. I mean, he has this futuristic tech on his arm, but other than that, he could go in with like some Joe ninjas or something, you know, he's not a bad figure. He's not a bad figure at all. He's only ranked so low because I know nothing about his character. We're going to go over here to curse. And this is from Thor, the dark world too. When I bought this, I bought this when I bought the Loki and um, three of the other figures you see back there. When I bought this guy, I only bought him because he was in scale. And I looked at his foot and he said Marvel. I thought he was, um, yeah, 2013. I thought initially that he was like something else. I just liked that he was in scale. But when I saw he was Marvel, it was like it sold it for me. It's pretty good articulation. Five years old, 2013, but great articulation. I don't know if I've taken his head off yet, but and there we go. For the first time, it took Chris's head off. But yeah, he's cool. I'm going to get some use out of him. I, I like my Asgardian-themed character. So this is a dark elf. Um, so far as the only one that I know that is in the three and three quarters scale. So he's cool. That's number six. Number seven is we, we have Felicity Jones as Jen Erso. I like this. She came with a, a removable scarf, obviously, and a gun. Um, not a bad figure. She was one of the first ones that I bought. One of the first Star Wars figures that I bought. I bought her and Clarence. And I bought all of my Star Wars figures on Clarence, actually. So it, it's cool that I have her. She looks good. I haven't seen Rogue One, but it looks like Felicity Jones. Like the eyes could be a little bit better, but it's not bad. You know, it's not off base. Up next, we have Kylo Ren. And this is uh, this is a Force Link 2.0, no, 1.0 figure. So if you have the Force Link toy or technology, he can talk and he can do other stuff. Um, just basic five points of articulation. He came with a, a cape. He's pretty cool, if you ask me. He looks like Kylo Ren. You can't really mess up helmets and masks. But he's good. Like a lot of detail in his, in his sculpt. Um, not a lot of movement. Again, five points of articulation, but I'm not complaining. This guy is on point. I like the the feel of his um, his vest or his coat. 
All right, now we have Cassian Andor got blurry there. And I want to apologize to both Cassian and to his actor, Diego Luna. When I did his figure review, I thought he was the guy from Treme, uh, the guy from Age of Adeline, who, which name, his name is Michiel Hoosman. Um, I believe he's Dutch. This guy is not Dutch. This guy is not Michiel Hoosman. This is Diego Luna. And um, I, I kind of disrespected him, but they have they have a striking likeness. They don't look exactly alike, but they look alike a lot. So no, no disrespect to that, dude. I'm sorry about that. Um, but this figure's cool. I wish this hat came off. It doesn't, unfortunately, but it's not a huge deal. Um, I more than likely will get another Diego, excuse me, I'll get another Cassian Andor figure down the line in a different outfit. outfit. Well, that's what I'll do with a lot of these figures. Like, that's the cool thing. They keep making Star Wars figures and they keep giving them different outfits. All right, we got my boy, my favorite character from episode seven. We got Finn. And this is obviously, in my opinion, he looks like John Boyega. Not 100%. He could look better, but... I'm glad to have this this character. John Boyega did an excellent job as Finn in the, his first Star Wars movie. I did not see um, The Last Jedi, so I don't know how any of the actors did in that. But this is cool. I'm glad to have him. He is my first uh, principal cast member from the new newer Star Wars series. So that's cool. Up next, number, what, 11? We have Han Solo. And this is not the Harrison Ford Han Solo. This is the Alden Ehrenrich. I might be not pronouncing his name wrong on Solo from his own movie, The Solo, A Star Wars Story. This is a Force Link 2.0 figure. So like the Kylo Ren, he can talk if you have the Force Link technology. Um, I don't know if they did it with all the Force Link 2.0 figures, but this guy definitely has swivel wrists. So that's cool. He has an extra points of articulation. It looks like the actor. He looks like the actor, if you ask me. Um, I don't think... The actor looks like Han Solo or Harrison Ford, but this guy looks like Han Solo. He's rocking the, the jacket and the, sh the pants and the boots. Um, interesting side note it is almost fall. It'll be fall and a little over a week at the time of recording this video. And a lot of women are going to be wearing the Harrison Ford. They're going to have these blue jeans. They're going to have these boots. They're going to have the little vest. And that's a funny meme that whoever came up with that a few years ago, however long ago, was pretty funny. Number 12, we have Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow is, of course... Portrayed, I want to say iconically, by Johnny Depp. It's probably one of his most iconic roles. I mean, he's done like 800 uh, Pirates of the Caribbean films. So that's good. Let me get this to focus up. Doesn't look 100% like him, but he actually kind of looks like um, Val Kilmer right there, if you ask me. But this is a cool toy, man. He's He's got decent articulation. Um, so I'm not complaining. Uh, maybe if I get some more Pirates, whether it's from Pirates of the Caribbean or Caribbean. Pirates from the Caribbean is or you know something else i think it's pretty cool i would like to have more pirates in my showcase so that is this guy jack sparrow portrayed by johnny depp <clears throat> number 13 we have a core figure and i bought this core figure the lion o back there the jack sparrow the curse and the loki from the um, flea market spent ten dollars for the five of them so two dollars is not bad this figure is I didn't know who he was, so I asked online who he was. I just knew he was core because he said Lenard, and he has a pretty big hit, so I knew he wasn't G.I. Joe. But, um, yeah, apparently this is a repaint. I guess the original Large Sarge figure came out in 90, 1987, but this is a repaint from some point in the 90s. So it's cool. He looks good. Um, they actually painted his back, which they don't do now with core figures. And I'm not, again, I have no complaints with the core figures because you can get five core figures in a vehicle for $5 before tax. So you can't knock them at all. They want to save some money by not painting backs, man. They release so many of their figures over and over again. You can repaint them yourself, man. But he's got excellent detail. So this is, again, some point in the 90s. The original sculpt is from 87, 31 years old. So excellent painting. They did a good job on this large charge figure. Glad to have him in my collection. Then we have Ant-Man, comic accurate Ant-Man. Um, this is one of the, well, obviously, this is the most latest uh, Marvel Infinite, Marvel Universe, Marvel Legends in this scale that I've bought. I mean, don't get to buy too many of them now because they're hard to come out come across in the wild. Um, but I bought this guy. Not I don't know nothing about Ant Man really. I know at one point he beats his wife, but that's about it. Um, I do like that he's wearing a comic accurate costume. I would like to get a smaller version and larger version, so maybe a Marvel six inch Legend, and then the Build a Figure. I think they have a Build a Figure with this design. 
I know they have it with the MCU design, but with this design, it would be pretty cool. And just, you know, have him grow and shrink. Not going to get too much smaller than this, but there are smaller versions of this, which is cool. I like this figure. He's ranked so highly because of his articulation. If his, articula if his articulation was, like, basic, like 5 POA, he'd be lower just because I don't know much about Ant-Man. But there you is. There you have it. Number 14. Number 15, and the last before we dig into the two mysterious characters, is lion -O. This is from the 2013 version of Thundercats. I want to say 13. It could be 14. 2011. My bad, fam. 2011 version of Thundercats. I just saw this. I knew who he was. He came with his sword and a smaller sword. He did not come with the... Uh, I think there's two versions. One has the the glove that can replace this hand or go over it. I'm not sure. But this guy's pretty cool. Uh, I wish I had watched the Thundercats when it came out in 2011. Of course, I'm a big... 80s Thundercats fan. That's probably one of my. That's probably my favorite show from the 80s. But um, yeah, this dude is pretty cool. I would like to get the Mumra and the Panthro. I think there's only five figures in this scale line. So Panthro, Tigra, Chitara, Lino, and Mumra. I could be wrong, but I definitely want the Mumra. And then we'll go from there. We'll see. And I would like to get his. Um, it's a shield, but it looks like a lion's claw. All right, so number 17 or 16 off screen is Red Skull. I did a review of this guy and uh, what's in the box. He came in the mail last week, two weeks ago at some point. And since the video was so short, I just went ahead and reviewed him. I love this guy, man. He's a Nazi, but hey, you can't hate every Nazi. Look at this dude. He's he's awesome. Um, and he's the only one that's made his official Instagram de debut. Um, some of the other figures are on my Instagram account because I was just showing what I got in the haul that week or whatever, but this guy is actually posing and he's got scenery and I think it's pretty cool. So he's made his official Instagram debut and I got big plans for this guy. I got a lot of plans for this guy. So I'm glad to have Red Skull and this guy is amazing. I have nothing bad to say about this. This is this figure. Nothing bad. This is the only Nazi that nothing bad can be said about. And last but not least, number 17 is going to be Jen Erso again. Um, this Jen Erso is from the Black Series line. So it's it was packaged retro as Kenner. Even though Ken, cause Kenner's owned by Hasbro now, it has a lot of art. She has a lot of articulation. She came with the vest. I took the vest off as I do most accessories. This um, her holster does not come off unless they like, popped her waist off or something, which I didn't want to do. She's wearing almost identically the same outfit as the five points for articulation figure. Um, the five POA figure obviously has like a green coat that this one does not have over top of this gray. But other than that, they're wearing the same exact outfit. Um, their boots are sculpted a little bit differently, but they're the same boots. Um, I actually like the five points of articulations. Figures hit, hit better than this one. I like the eye placement a little bit better. But they don't fit onto each other the way I would like. Um, so that's that, unfortunately. But this is a good figure. I ranked her higher than Red Skull just because she has so much articulation. I think this is my only female figure with this level of articulation. She's one... I'm not going to count it. She, I did a review for her. I'm not going to count it. But she has a lot of articulation. The only figure that comes close is um my enchantress and maybe uh thor um jane foster thor but other than that that's it all right guys that's it for this video this is a relatively short one um only 17 figures so like comment subscribe share with all your homies get the word out there about bob's holly world and again we're going to keep rocking this until you know we can't do it no more so here it is you guys have a good one